There are more than 200 land parcels up for auction in the state coming up. And today we're here with Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak to tell us more about that process. Thanks for being here Good with morning. us today. Good morning. All right, so how does a property go on the auction block? So the first thing it has to do is if somebody quits paying property taxes, they get so far behind and the treasurer can't help anymore, uh, inevitably on March 31st every year, um, the county will foreclose on the home due to property mm -hmm. taxes. Then the county owns it. Then we offer them up at a at auction, just like the state is doing. If they know that they've released that they're up this summer, so we'll have ours in September on the fifth, where we'll offer ours up for public auction. Then if they don't sell there, um, then they really revert to the land bank authority, and then the county owns them, and then we get them in about December, and then we inspect them and find out which ones we can sell. Do mm -hmm. we have to demolish them? Which ones are is there something quirky? Is it straddled two property lines? And, and there's all sorts of different factors. Right. So then, uh, and then, so now we're proud owners of roughly 4,000 parcels in the wow. in Saginaw County, most of which are in the city, but they're all they're located all over the county. Mm -hmm. So now these different properties, some are houses, um, vacant lots, but some are called side lots. Can you explain the difference in those? Yeah. So uh, a side lot would be something that's you know you'd think of it as you probably used to have a house on it. Mm -hmm. It was demolished at one point in time. It's uh, probably a, a 60 by 120. It's adjacent to a to a home mm -hmm. um, or or a business or a church. And, and so that's what we call our side lots. And we, we offer those for sale in the city for $150. And around the county, depending on the size of it, the prices can vary, but they're really um, inexpensive. And you talk about something that's, uh, it's gonna use to expand your lot. And so it's kind of this side lot, it's next to your home. So all we ask is that you're adjacent to the, to the parcel in some form or another, could be behind it or next to it. Um, we've sold them across the street. Um, your taxes are paid. You don't have any code violations because we figure it's not fair to the neighbors if you can't take care of your property. Um, you know, we're going to ask that uh, you wait, but we'll give you a chance. You can clean yours up and prove that uh, you can, you can uh, be a good steward of the neighborhood. Sure. And we'll sell it to you. So what are the requirements for someone to buy one of these uh, properties up for auction? So if, if, you, um, if you're looking to buy something, you just have to come down to the office and, and, and submit an application. We ask that you have no delinquent taxes, so don't owe, don't owe any taxes to the county. And we ask that you um, live adjacent to it. You have your taxes paid. Um, you, you don't have you haven't had any issues buying from the county in the past, either at the auction or through the land bank. You know, we didn't um, he didn't promise you'd buy something and pay for it or things like that. Um, if you're a landlord, because a lot of them um, will sell to landlords now. If you if you're the, the um, owner of a some of you have a tenant there, sure, you can buy it. Um, you have to be registered with the city or township that you, that you own the whole home in. And you can come on in, it's just all cash basis. We don't do loans or any sort of programs like that. But you know, the lots are $150 and we ask you pay a $30 recording fee. So for really for $180, you can expand your, your yard. Um, you know, some people put swing sets, gardens. Sure. Um, the extra green space is nice. So are there any restrictions on the land after you buy it? Yeah, so after you buy it, so some of the things they look for is to call your city or township and kind of find out, you know, does it meet the zoning requirements? What am I gonna do with it? If I'm gonna put a fence up, I have to get a permit to put the fence up. Am I gonna, am I gonna build a garage? Does it, does it meet all of the requirements with setback and things like that? Um, you wanna check with the local municipality. Um, mm -hmm. That's not, you know, that's the, the buyer's responsibility. And if you're doing a bigger project, a lot of times if it's a business or a church, we'll hold the property while you verify that with the, uh, with the authorities in the city or whatever. That way you're not buying something and then find out that you couldn't do what you're intended with it. We really try to work with folks as much as we can. Because um, really the best use of all these properties is for them to be in the hands of somebody private. Um, and we, um, you know, we do reserve the right to not sell. There's a, a whole list of reasons that we sure. may not, um, but, but for the most part, you know, we want to move them on. Of course. Well, thank you so much for being with thank us today. You. Learning a lot. We appreciate it. And thank if you, you have any questions that you want to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com.